the hackers do not want me to make this video because i am about to expose all the tips and tricks they use in hacking social media accounts now if you are a social media user you must watch this video to the end because in this video i'm going to drop some bombshells which would be very very important to you because of late hacking of social media accounts has become very very prevalent and therefore the need for me to make this video one click and your social media account is gone it has happened to me before i know some of you watching have also had your fair share of your social media account or your neighbors social media account being hacked and not being able to recover it in this video i'm going to give you a live demonstration of how these hackers hack into your social media accounts how you can prevent it and some of the things that you need to know now before we proceed i'd like to sound a caution that this video is for educational purposes only and not intended to promote any legal activities or any commercial activities with that being said my name is api amira let's get right into it now i'm about to show you a very very simple trick that these social media hackers use to get your login details to your social media accounts now they don't need any complex machines or complex setup in doing this they just need a smartphone with internet connection and they will trick you through a process of phishing now phishing is one just one of the numerous ways hackers use to get into your account now if you do not know what phishing is phishing basically is the process of creating fake accounts that look very similar to the real accounts and you as a user would be tempted to give out your information in this phishing website so for example you can get a facebook notification maybe a facebook login link maybe i'll demonstrate that in a second as i said you click on that link you enter your login details and they get whatever information you have entered in that link now without much talks let's get right into the demonstration now to demonstrate this we are going to make use of a website called spom spom.co the best application for penetration test through which you can test on facebook instagram blah 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 as you can see now this is how the website looks like over here when you come in you'd have to sign up if you're a new user or simply log in if you already have a spom account that you can be able to simply enter your username and password and automatically you would be taken into the application now this is how it looks on the interface you can see that you can be able to use this to you know get details of facebook desktop facebook mobile fortnite pubg free fire facebook lights you know let's look at more categories here fifa 2015 candy crash ps 2015 and so much more basically this thing works on anything that requires a user login and in a minute i'm going to show you how these hackers make use of this website remember this is not the only tool they use there are a thousand and one ways they can be able to get your details but then this is just one of them so i'm going to come here and then i've logged in i'm going to come to scammers and then i'm going to come here private scammers and then i'm going to click on create now once i click on create i'm being greeted with this login space which would tell me to fill the name of the scammer and then how i'm going to do it now this is an illustration of how it looks like you have an image and then you have the name which is the letter we have the label one label two and then a button which you can upload an image to so let's just type a name here i'm going to type something very real quick here so that we demonstrate it so that you see how these hackers are hacking your accounts now the name i'm going to type here is um facebook test this is just a test transmission and then i'm going to click on next and then let me minimize this here now i've typed in facebook test right here the scammer or of my fishing that i want to do so i want to upload an image here and then i click on pick 
photo now this is going to open my gallery for me to choose a photo that i want to use now i want to use this photo now remember they would use something that is very very convincing an image that will convince you to be able to you know enter your details so the letter here i'm going to type get verified on facebook get verified on facebook next and then label one and label two so the label one and label two is the details that you would need and so label one i would click on maybe enter username enter username enter username label two enter password enter password now i'm done with label one label two i just need to create a button here and i'm going to name this button get verified so i'm just going to type in get verified here so get verified and then all i need to do is to create the scammer here now it is going to generate a link for me and i'm going to send this link over to a whatsapp account and i'm going to click on this link and then i'm going to test it out for you to see if indeed it works now this is the link that i have gotten okay i can still you know edit my thing if i want to but then i think it's okay i click on edit scammer now once you have the link all you need to do is to copy this link right here so you're going to copy it and then you are going to send it to the person you want to you know i don't know what you want to call it the person you want to hack or scam or something like that and so let me minimize this here and then copy this link now this link has been copied i'm going to send this link over to a whatsapp account i'm going to send this thing over to a whatsapp account so that i'm going to try and do this in whatsapp so from whatsapp i'm going to click on this link and once i click on the link it will take me to a page where i would basically you know fill in my details so let me just paste this thing here i've sent the link so just as the hacker will send you a link to you to you know try and make you click on it or something so i'm going to click on the link to see how the link looks like so i'll just you know click on the link here to take me to the website now just as i said the image you use and however you structure your things should be very very convincing so the hackers use an image that is very very convincing to make you enter your details so as you can see meta verified here my username my password i'm going to enter the username here maybe kofi and then i'm going to enter my password my password is basically one two three four once i click on kofi and then i enter my password i click on get verified nothing is actually going to happen from here all it's going to do is to just give you some things that you know doesn't work but then once you've entered your details here i would want to come over to my spam account to see if i have actually gotten a victim so let me come back to my spam website and then i'm going to go on to my spam dashboard and i'm going to see if i actually have a victim so let me click here and then click on victims and then you can see that victim i've got one victims here scammer that is facebook test that i created username password ip address and the date and so anybody that clicks on that link enters the username password would be found here you get it so this is very simple for penetration testers hackers can use this as an instrument 
to get people enter their usernames or passwords so that you just saw is how easy hackers can just hack your account by creating a simple phishing link and then tricking you to enter your details now this doesn't only apply to facebook as i said this can be used on basically anything that has a login information so they'll just create it and then they would make it look as if it is real now not only accounts this can be used to hack emails credit card information and so much more and so ladies and gentlemen this is very very dangerous i just showed you how easy it is for hackers to pull this thing off they don't need any complex machineries and gadgets to be able to do this just a smartphone with internet connection as i demonstrated to you and they are good to go they can easily hack into your social media accounts now how do you protect yourself and your social media account from these online phishing attacks now first things first beware of links that are sent to you it's not any link that you are supposed to click on in fact whenever you are about to click on the link read the url if it is from facebook.com if it is from instagram or if it is from a reputable company now most of these phishing links do not come with a readable url or something that is verifiable or something that is clear url like let's say facebook.com instagram.com or something like that because these things are just randomized but hey be careful because most of these hackers can pull out usernames that look very very similar remember the underlined word is similar but then it's not exactly so you might see that there might be maybe some spelling mistake in the url maybe facebook.com they'll just type maybe facebook.com just take note of that in fact when you get that link if you want to test how legitimate it is which i won't advise you to click on it but then if you happen to click on it first enter a dummy information to check how the link works to see if it is legitimate now you just saw that whenever i clicked on the link to get my social media account verified it takes me to some nonsense page and so you can try with some bogus details to see how the links work the processes they will take you through before you actually come back again and redo and enter your real information now just as i said beware of the links not every link should be clicked on not everything should be opened once you open it sometimes these hackers can use the information you enter on these websites to get to you and hack your social media accounts also another step is to enable two-factor authentication so that even when they get these login details they will need your two-factor authentication pin which they will send you to your sms or email before they are able to log in if not if you don't have the two-factor authentication in place once they get your username password they are good to go and they can log into your account so remember to set up two-factor authentication and that would create an extra layer of security to help your account not being hacked so ladies and gentlemen that is what we have for today phishing scams and how they are used to hack into your social media account we just explored how it is very very easy to pull off these accounts and please stay vigilant if you found this video helpful let me know down in the comment section also if you want more of these videos subscribe to this channel put us on post notifications so that whenever we post awesome content like this you would be notified like this video my name is Apia Amira, and i'll catch you guys next time ciao